Hey guys, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to just sort of have like a little bit of a sit down talk. And uh, sorry if I'm like sweating. It's like um, in the high 80s, early 90s uh, here where I'm at. So I'm like a full face of makeup on and I'm burning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need water. I'm literally a mermaid that is frying. I am frying. So I actually, um, if I input the intro that I originally filmed for the beginning of this video, I was dancing a little bit, like downstairs with jeans on, because otherwise I'd just wear shorts, but I had on jeans in the video. And I got back upstairs and my entire face was wet. Like it was as if I was like pouring sweat and I had just done my makeup. So I literally like, I'm like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> I apologize if I am like <laughs> melting in this video, but it sort of fits perfect with the theme of this video, which is you don't have to be perfect. Um, something that I really want to talk about is perfectionism in our society and sort of like how we feel that we have to sort of always be like upholding to some sort of standard or that like we can only show the best parts of ourselves. We can never like really showcase like how we got to where we are. Like I feel like a lot of times for myself, I feel sort of poisoned with like perfectionism in the sense that I'm so worried about, oh my gosh, well in the past people have said this and this and this and I've been critiqued about this, this and this and this isn't good enough, your makeup isn't good enough, your voice sounds dumb, you sound dumb when you're talking, um, you only sound smart in your head and then when you start talking, Athena, like you just sound dumb, you shouldn't make a video, you shouldn't talk about it, um, you know, you're really cringy, don't do that, you're this, you're that, and it's just sort of like infected from like allowing the negative things that people have said to me in the past and things that um, you know I've gone through and it's just sort of like you have to almost ignore that and like be your own best friend and just tell yourself you know like it's not about being perfect that's not what life is about it's not about being the the most like put together person and I know in our social media and like YouTube world like a lot of people put out their best selves and look like totally airbrushed and flawless and we can't believe how amazing they look I mean people put filters on videos like literally you can like makeup artists it's, it was a whole like scandal thing that they had like filtered um, camera setting so that like you can filter your skin so it looks really smooth on camera and um, so it's not really showing the accuracy of the actual makeup that they're doing so they just look really perfect and that's not actually the reality of things like you know wearing makeup like you're up close you're gonna look like you have your pores if you have pores they're gonna be sort of kinda you know caked up and you're not gonna look that great like kinda from where I'm sitting the makeup doesn't look like that much of a mess but if we were under like the extreme lighting then I mean you're gonna see everything you're gonna see like the bags under my eyes more you're gonna see like all sorts of like pimple shading and just all kinds of stuff and it's just not gonna be flattering but like obviously we're so infected that we don't ever want to show that we're like oh my god never like what if, you know, like just all sorts of things, like we're always like editing, 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 and we're never just like letting ourselves be and just like, and it's not to say that makeup is like hiding something. That's not, that's not my point at all. I'm just saying that we only showcase ourselves in the way that we feel like will be best perceived by society. And it's... I'm not trying to contradict anything I've said about like loving like you know makeup and fashion and you know if you want to have your look together and freedom of expression all of that is wonderful beautiful um, and so critical and important to our survival but at the same time it's also really important to validate and love that person that wakes up in the morning that has bad breath that 
you know, has something stuck in their, like, cereal stuck in their teeth, or, I don't know, you have, like, a booger on the side of your nose, or whatever, or, like, your bare face, like, it's nothing to be afraid of, or, you know, if something isn't, like, you know, just whatever it is, like, just l the little things, like, those things don't define you, like, being not perfect doesn't define you, and trying to be perfect doesn't define you either. Like, we're none of that. Like, this persona that I have created is, it's just a creation. Like, I chose to do my makeup. I chose to put on body glitter. I chose to wear this top. I chose to part my hair this way. All because I resonate with that, and I want that to have an effect, and I want that to help people see me in the way that I want to be seen and my style. However, that isn't like, it's not that it's not 100% you, it's just that it's hard to explain because we're always like showcasing the best side of ourselves when we're not really ever, like we never pay attention to when you know, like, I don't see a lot of people taking selfies when, you know, they aren't put together or they're just whatever, like, and it's really refreshing when I do see that because that's some, like, you know, you're the same beautiful individual with and without being put together or, you know, if you're on a weight loss journey, you're just as beautiful as you were then as you will be when you meet your goal, if that's what your goal is. Or if you're on a road to clearing your acne, that's something I've definitely struggled with. Um, you're no less beautiful than when your face is full of acne than when your face is, you know, crystal clear. Like that isn't these are all like sort of external forces that get like I think our society blends our inner and outer self so much and it, it's just like it becomes like there's no difference but I think that there is a really big difference. I think that it isn't, it's not okay to base who you are off of your mistakes or not being perfect because that's not the point. Human beings are not perfect. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be like 100% all the time. Uh, everything you do is great. Like there's a girl that I watch here on YouTube. Her name is Swans and um, it's Swan and then D and then like I think three or four S's. And um, she's like a BJD, like doll collector, creator. Um, she's a really amazing person. I love her. I highly, um, uh, what is it called? Recommend you guys check out her channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys have because a lot of the people that are subscribed to me are also doll collectors, so I'm sure they know of her. But um, she just released a really great video that I was watching before I made this one, and it was funny because it really coincided with what I was thinking of doing a video on, which she just, she touched on the topics of, like, um, doing face-ups for her dolls, and if you're not familiar with what face-ups are, it's, like, um, basically doing a painting on a doll's face and giving them whatever kind of features or shadings or makeup or tattoos or anything. Like, it's basically, like, a skill. It's something that you're not going to be perfect at the first time you do something. And she was just talking about how important it is to show, like, to not be afraid of showing yourself not being perfect at something. Like, it, it's okay. Like, you don't have to be the best. You don't have to compare yourself because really, like, we're always on a journey of bettering ourselves. And I myself, I mean, I struggle so much with, like, so much shame and feelings of, like, embarrassment about myself in terms of, like, the past or I can't believe I wore that. I can't believe I look like that. I can't believe that was me. Um, I can't believe that, like, I don't know, like, just being so uncomfortable in my skin. And then I, I started somewhere and now I'm at where I am today and... From this point, it's going to become the new this point, and I'm going to keep continuing. Like, time is a continuum, and you're just going to get better with time. And I'm sure in five years, I'll look back at this YouTube channel and be like, what was I thinking? But I'm not going to delete my videos because I think it's really important to capture sort of moments in your life or where you're at and reflect on it. And 
I have a hard time making videos in the sense that I'm like, it's not good enough, you're not pretty enough, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And all that is just nonsense because that's not what my channel is about. My channel is about emphasizing the beauty of self-creation, self-understanding, and trying to understand the difference between external and internal self. And I don't know if any of this is even making sense, but... Yeah, I just really, um, I really strongly just struggle with, it's like you always want to be seen in the best light possible, and as you grow, that sort of changes, and like you are learning and developing yourself and creating yourself, and like, you know, it, it takes time to be able to create yourself. It takes time to you know, become what you want to be. I, I remember all in school, I used to just like daydream over the beautiful popular girls and I absolutely wanted to be just like them. I was so jealous of like their friendships with each other and because I didn't fit in and I was jealous of you know, like them having really beautiful long hair and just all kinds of stuff and that you know, they were comfortable in their skin and that, you know, people like accepted them and all that kind of stuff. And I never was the popular girl. I never was the pretty girl. I never was chosen for uh, PE. Like I was always one of the last people to get picked, like in the movies. Like that's my story. That's the real reality. Like I wasn't anybody's crush ever. I wasn't I didn't have dates to go to dances in school. Um, and I just remember being on the outside looking in and always feeling like so just sad and upset and it developed into anger because I wanted to showcase who I was. But I felt like my outside wasn't reflecting that. And I, I was just confused and I was like, well, maybe this is just how it has to be. But... You are your own artist and you're your own creation and you don't have to be your masterpiece until way, 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 way into the future. And even your masterpiece, you'll always keep working on it because you yourself are a masterpiece. And I wouldn't be who I am today, not that I'm perfect at all, I am the farthest thing from perfect, but I am much closer and I am more refined in understanding myself to a certain degree. There's still a lot of stuff I don't know anything about, but I have a more refined and open idea as to the person that I want to become, whereas I didn't have that before. And I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't each stage of the person that I was before. And even if you feel ugly and even if you feel depressed or like angry or you don't feel like, you know, you have a really bad haircut and you're waiting for your hair to grow out and you're just so like obsessed with it and you're like, I just want to show that I'm beautiful and I want to show that I can match and like present myself in the best way. Know that you will present yourself in the best way, but it's okay to be in the building blocks of that point. I, it did not take uh, just one day for me to figure out how to take care of the things that I needed to take care of to sort of create who I am. And there are so many things about myself that I wish I could change, and I'm in the process of fixing that. Because life is a journey, it's a path of expansion and growth, and the whole theme is to be not as critical and harsh on yourself along the way, and to love the person, love you in this moment, because this person is going to get you to where you want to be. You've already made it, but you're just on the journey, if that makes sense. I know that sounds kind of like a contradiction, but... You have all the tools you need. Now fight. And if you know where that's from, I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to be cringe. I mean to be I mean to just speak I don't want to say motivational. I just mean to say in a real way, you have everything you need to be the person you are. And you already are that person. And you don't have to be perfect. 
you are on your way to creating your most developed self. What is it, self-actualization in psychology? That's the goal. That's my goal. I want to be able to cut all the ties of not thinking I'm good enough, not thinking I'm pretty enough, needing validation, needing, you know, all sorts of things that I, and granted, there's some things you can't give yourself. Like, sometimes you do need, like, help from people, and that's totally normal and real. But um, I think that it's also really important just for me to say that, like, I know that there's a lot of stuff that I depend on or want, and I'm like, I could give that to myself, and I deserve to give that to myself. I had a hard day. It's okay to tell yourself, Athena, you had a hard day. You went through a lot. Maybe somebody was really rude to you. Maybe something wasn't fair that happened to you. Maybe it was just really crappy and like life happens, right? So you can comfort yourself and tell yourself and be there for yourself and, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Tell yourself, self, I've made it this far. Don't be embarrassed of the past. The, mo the moment of right now is as perfect as you need to be you in this state and each day we strive to be better and it's a long long journey and you know like many artists I think it was uh, Leonardo da Vinci he worked on the Mona Lisa for like seven years on and off so my point being and I think in art as well like a painting is never truly finished you know you could always keep going you know um, so I just want to sort of just, I don't know, I love how I'm like saying what I'm already doing, but like telling you guys what I'm going to do, but I've already been doing it. But um, just about like, you know, perfectionism and control and just all those sorts of things that like get in the way and that really sort of deter us and are like poisonous and it's just, I don't know, it's just something for my, for people, I was going to say subscribers, but um, for the people who watch my videos, if you can just think a little bit about these things and maybe, like, let it digest and just sort of, you know, think about that and be like, okay, I am perfect at this moment. I'm going to where I need to be. I can be who I want to be. And it doesn't happen in just a day. I mean, I want to be a businesswoman, I want to have my own company, I want to have, I want to work for Barbie, I want to design outfits for Barbie and make new Barbies, I want to go to the moon, I want to go to Pluto, I want to, you know, I want to be a scientist, I want to be a mathematician just to say that I can, because I'm terrible at math, but I would love to like, if I could make it to a calculus class and just say, I'm taking calculus, I mean... That would just be, that would mean a lot to me because I struggle so much with math that I almost like reject it. And I'm like, well, it doesn't, it just, I don't need it. I'm like, I'm against it because I'm not good at it. But math isn't the problem. It's what society and other people tell you. It's like, we're only highlighting what we're best at. All my life I've been told, oh, Athena, English, 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 because it comes a little bit na more naturally to me. And it's like, that doesn't mean that I should love English more or less because it, beca it it's a little bit more natural for me to write a paper rather than it is to like solve an equation. So it's just looking at things a little bit deeper is really important. So I just wanted to share that. I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute, but whenever I watch it back, it's not too bad. So thank you if you've watched the video this far. And I'm sorry if I'm a sweaty mess but I shouldn't apologize because this is real life and in real life you get sweaty and in real life you can look like a mess sometimes and it's okay so I just want to say that and I love you guys and thank you for watching and um, yeah I don't know what else to say okay <laughs> bye